hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm going to be doing a reading for Taurus. keep in mind that this is oh a general reading only take what resonates leave the rest for someone else don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel all right so we got one romance angel card that came out for you Taurus. let's see all right let's see what this is we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together I'm getting a feeling of somebody enjoying the time that they spend around you. Um, we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Interesting. Okay, so I'm getting like with this honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This just reminds me of you spending a lot of time around someone, around this person. Maybe you're getting to know here. Could be um, having some sort of trust issues. I don't feel like it's within their connection. I feel like it's like with everything else that could be going on around you at this time. This person could be like reassuring you that everything is going to be okay. You feel safe around this person is what I'm getting as well. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm picking up from the cards. Like, you feel safe or this person makes you feel safe here. Like, that's what I'm getting. And they could be reassuring you that everything is going to be okay. Okay? Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. It's like, I'm here. <laughs> we have flurry. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, I feel like this is definitely somebody new that you could have met or... You know, you're kind of like trying to develop a relationship. Um, interesting. I feel like, ooh, bottom of the deck, we have children. Um, your love life is being affected by children. So maybe some of you could have children or maybe you guys are talking about children here is what I'm getting. That's just for some of you. Interesting. All right, let's see. We have high priestess of fire interesting we're going to look that up in a second some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or you could have that that element in your chart the number five could be significant for you let's look at the high priestess of fire all right you guys so the high priestess of fire you have chosen the symbol of the high priestess of fire the goddess of creativity and passion so Whenever she arrives, she reminds you of your ability to create your own reality and to choose how you channel your energy. If you are restless, call upon the High Priestess of Fire for inspiration and joy, and she will release you from the trap of boredom. Uh, fire brings warmth and light. Some of y'all definitely could be bored, though, at this time. It also burns when it is allowed to get out of control. Interesting. Spend your energy creatively, not impulsively. Um, and guard yourself against burning out. Use your fire wisely and let your light shine brightly. Beautiful energy. So I'm definitely getting like a fiery, passionate energy. And you could be definitely um, expressing that energy here. Especially with the flirt card. You extended your lighthearted energy to others. But I'm getting like to like one person. You know, with you spending time with this person here. Beautiful energy though. Um... interesting so let's go ahead and continue and pull some more cards so let's see what else what other messages do you have here for Taurus yeah I feel like you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign this fire sign could be very creative as well very passionate getting a lot of flirting energy going on this person is just like protecting you and reassuring you I, I just keep getting that okay let's see look at that we have <laughs> Wow, flowers. So I feel like this could be like an invitation or like just positive energy here with the flowers and also like romantic feel is what I'm getting from this. Your person could be sending you flowers or like like little gestures, sweet gestures, romantic is what I'm getting. Um Wow, we got a lot going on here. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. I think that was like way too many cards. Okay. We got the fish. Wow, we got the snake. And you have the tree. 
So what the tree symbolizes is like family grounded energy I get from this. People that are like grounded in your life, you know, definitely I, I take this as like family. Interesting. I feel like, I feel like you may have more than one person that could be interested in you. Let's see. Okay, we have Park. I feel like it could be like a reunion or maybe you're meeting, maybe you're letting this person meet your family. I feel like your family may feel like this person is up to no good. I don't know why I feel like that. Let's see. We have the book. Yeah, research. Like, somebody could be doing research on the person that you're dealing with, or somebody could be wanting you to look up this person's past or something. Yeah, because I feel like at the bottom of the deck, we have letter, maybe a document or something like that. This person may have a past here. We do have a mask. I don't know why I'm getting, like, maybe the like either the company that you keep or your family may feel like something is off about the person that you're dealing with um let's see feel like your family somebody could be doing research because that's what i get from the book this talks about like learning researching um Let me see. Hold on. Number 26, the book. Yeah, the book of knowledge, the book of secrets, what I house is education in private. I may be your project or your research and sometimes your studies and journals. Watch out for the cards around me because with the sun, you will see right through me. I am hidden. I am unknown. But occasional knowledge I might learn. And then we have the park. So this is like reunion or like a crowd of people. I feel like it could be within your family or maybe the community here. Somebody could be talking about this masculine energy. I don't know why I'm getting that. Or they could feel like this person is a snake or they wear a mask. Or let's see. Tell me about this masculine energy here. Yeah, so now I see where the trust card comes in at. Because you could have met this person. You could be spending a lot of time with this person. There could be sex going on as well. I feel like your family could be... Okay, give me some information about this masculine energy here. Signs. reinvention so i'm picking up an energy of this masculine energy being able to reinvent himself or themselves we have the answer is no we have vibrations interesting i feel like this person's vibe could be a little off here um and we have third party yeah something about this masculine energy that people around you your family your friends may feel like this person is off here or something about them May feel like, you know, they have another person or, let's see. Tell me more about this masculine energy. We have spirit of the staircase, ascension, progress, the long way home. So one thing I'm picking up from this masculine energy, okay, and at the bottom of the deck, you have uh, spirit of the dog, friendship, companion, companion, and undying loyalty. Yeah, definitely picking up a masculine energy. So one thing I'm picking up is this masculine energy definitely could have had a past. Um, but I feel like they could be getting themselves together. Like they could be working on themselves, trying to be a better person, trying to grow, trying to mature, but other people on the outside might, might not see this because of this person's past. But I am getting, I mean, with this spirit of the staircase, this is talking about somebody trying to make progress, 
trying to be better, trying to ascend to a higher level. Um, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, this person has a lot of maybe things in their past that they're trying to like break free from. They're trying to reinvent themselves. Interesting. This person could have no been known to be like a player. This person could have been known to be like have more than one woman, you know, that type of energy. Wow. It's just unfortunate that, you know, yeah, it's like this person's past, it's, it always catches up with them, no matter how much they try to run from it. Or again, like I, I'm just getting this person trying to reinvent themselves. They're trying to go from being in a very negative space or having a very negative outlook on life, trying to be more positive. So they are trying to do the work to work on themselves. Like that's the energy that I'm picking up, but others around them is not letting them forget their past. That's what I'm getting. This could be interfering with your relationship. Interesting. Wow, Taurus. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have spirit of the dog. So I'm getting this person is loyal. At least they're working towards it. Being more, um, you know, they're trying to work on being, you know, a leader. Um, I'm getting like a masculine energy, the emperor energy. Okay, interesting. Wow. Interesting. Let's pull some um, messages from the masculine here. I, f I really feel like this person is trying to change their life. But, uh, like, people won't let them forget about the past or their past or something like that. I feel damaged just like, like, I just can't do this. Yeah, this person definitely, you know, could have had a rough life growing up or could have been damaged. And they're trying to, you know, make progress. They're trying to do right. They're trying to be better. Wow, no other compares to you. I feel like you could be helping this person in in a way. My heart is telling me just do it. Interesting. Let's see if we can pull some cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see, your masculine energy. Let's see. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like, and I'm gonna pull some. I'm gonna pull a. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, I thought something came out. Oh, yeah. See, look, I am becoming a better person. That's what I was feeling. This masculine energy is trying to become a better person, but people won't let them, won't let that pass down. Like, they just keep throwing it up in, their, in his face. Interesting. They're trying to become a better person. That's what I was getting, like, with this staircase, with the spirit of the staircase. This person is trying to become better. They're trying to make progress. Interesting. They're trying to be a better person. That's what I was getting. Interesting. But you have you could have friends or family. Maybe your family could be doubting this person. And it could be causing conflict or putting building a wedge in between you two. Because the third party doesn't necessarily have to mean somebody's dealing with a third party it could just mean that other people are involving themselves in the relationship wow let's wow this is interesting interesting let's go ahead and pull um a message or two from the keepers of the lights Let's see, what message do you have for Taurus? This could be you going through this. Vice versa, just take it however it resonates. Interesting. All right. So you have, okay. I don't know how to pronounce his word, his name, but I'm not even going to try it. The, okay, so it says Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. And then we have Mary Madeline. Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Interesting. 
So, with, I mean, this is like definitely self-explanatory. You already know the answer deep down inside. Like you already know, you already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Trust your intuition. And you have, you know, you need to start standing up for yourself as well. There could be some things, you know, like you've been through a lot. You've experienced a lot. And this could also be your partner. Them experiencing and a lot in their life, you know, they could also be a good teacher for others, you know, give others good advice or share share their experiences of what, you know, they've been through, you know, in the past. Maybe this could help someone else is what I get from this teacher awakens card. Yeah, because it says you you have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So, again, I feel like there could be others around that, you know, could be trying to stop your person from growth. You know, it's like they've been through a lot and they've experienced a lot and they can help others. They can share their story with others. Okay? Like, somebody is not letting you or your person that you're dealing with move forward and become better. They just, you know, want to keep this person in a box or they want to... You know, like they're not recognizing the good and the progress that your person is making. They're just, you know, seeing it, you know, it's like, yeah, they're not looking at this person as changed. They're still judging this person on their past or what they've been through or what they did. Let's see what we got for Taurus. All right, so you have the Two of Swords. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Wow. And I'm getting, like, with the Two of Swords, this is, the like, the present energy. You could be blocking everyone out. Yeah, go with your intuition. Use your intuition. I feel like this could be, like, a new beginning. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is the energy surrounding your situation. So there's definitely a new opportunity. There's a new... Um, yeah, I feel like this could be the offer, that offer from your person here. Interesting. So go with your intuition. You could be blocking other people's, like other people out. Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I did see the king of air at the bottom. I mean, the king of swords at the bottom of the deck before I started shuffling. Let's see. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Yeah, it's like it's almost like a start, a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Like a start of a foundation. Interesting. You could be also wanting to build something stable with this person. This person may have children, or maybe you could have a child. We have the judgment. Yeah, I'm getting this person's past keeps resurfacing. Yeah, things about this person's past is resurfacing. And they're trying to start fresh. They're trying to go on a new path. They're trying to build something stable. But people from the past, you know, yeah, definitely could be judging this person. This person may have a child that they don't communicate with as well is what I'm picking up um, from spirit. You know, they may have a child that they don't communicate with or um, that's that, you know, they're not able to come to talk to. But I feel like it's it's because of their past here. Yeah, this person, things from their past are resurfacing. Maybe people from their past are resurfacing. And Spirit is saying it's time for you to go with your intuition. Like, I feel like this person is definitely trying to work on themselves. They, they're trying to be a better person here. Like, you could be even trying to work on this situation. And, yeah, because I'm getting, like, the energy surrounding this situation is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So, I feel like this is, like, a start of a building a foundation. Okay? Interesting. Yeah. And here's your person coming forward with a love offer, wanting to build, wanting to work with you is what I'm getting. And yeah, they're coming from either 
I'm getting like maybe somebody is getting out of jail or they're coming from not really having anything or um, they could be coming from, you know, like struggles with the five of pentacles I'm seeing here. But they're manifesting. They're trying to manifest this new beginning. Yeah, they're trying to manifest this new beginning with you, Taurus. They're willing to work with you. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. Maybe it's, and for some weird way, it's like this person is changing or they, or they are becoming a better person because of you. But other people around them can't see that or they just don't want to. But that's basically on them, you know. So you definitely could be dealing with, I mean, we do got all the elements here. I want to pull one more card before we bring this reading to a close. So just continue to encourage your person to move forward. Um, and continue to do the right thing and stay on the right path. Friendship. Interesting. So it says friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Interesting. Let's grab one more. But I'm taking this as not only do you guys have a relationship, but you also have a friendship. Is what I'm getting. I feel like this could be your person saying like you're everything to them. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So this person feels that like like I said, you're everything to them. This relationship, this bond, this connection that you guys have, it's very sacred. Interesting. And they also could be, you know, working on blocking others out. Anybody who interferes with this connection. But that's what I have um, for you, Taurus. For those of you who um, resonated with this. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. Okay, I'll see you next time.